Well, just a year after U.S. officials shut down Tri-Valley University in California for massive immigration fraud, another university has been charged with visa fraud. A large portion of the students at the little herd of uh, Hagwan University, which offers computer science and business degrees, are from India. The website still says applications open for 2012. But the reality is that the U.S. federal agents have raided Sunnyvale's Hergwan University and charged its CEO with visa fraud. 32-year-old Jerry Wang faces a 15-count indictment that could send him to prison for up to 23 years. According to the charges, this Bay Area University was basically a visa mill, churning out student visas for foreign students to study in the U.S. The investigation is underway. But the immigration status for about 450 students enrolled at Hergwan is uncertain. Most of them are from India. Last year, dozens of students at Tri-Valley University faced deportation threats when their school was shut down on similar charges. Tri-Valley students were found to be living in different parts of the US and claimed to be attending online classes. Hergwan has 30 days to contest the revoking of its certification. If it is closed down, students will either have to enroll in an accredited school to maintain their legal status or go home after spending thousands of dollars but without an American degree. Since the Tri-Valley scam was unearthed, US authorities have been looking at ensuring better regulation of universities. But clearly, in the mad rush for a higher education overseas, which is often a route to immigrate to the US, Many students, it seems, don't bother to verify antecedents before deciding to take admission to a university. With Sarah Jacob in New York, Keith Yangre for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.